Hello, my name is Matteo and this is the first video in a series about free software alternatives on services when running a business. And the first that uh, that we'll see is an alternative to Google Analytics. Um, but everything will range from uh, the analytics on the business web page to the document collaboration, the alternative to Google Docs, an alternative to also um, paper docs uh, for by Dropbox, also an alternative to Dropbox itself. Um, also, we'll talk about an alternative for Slack, and then we'll talk about an alternative for Zoom. Um, and in general, uh, how it I will prove that you can uh, maintain and operate your business based on free software alone and all the tools that I'm going to show are not only open source but they are also self-hosted so that what that means is that you are the owner of your data but uh, you're not slave to self-hosting if you uh, if that uh, is not for you and you don't want the overhead of maintaining your own servers, all of these services or all of these projects have a uh, reference instance that you can just pay for and um, and help the communities. Uh, it's typically the community uh, or the company driving the free software project that uh, operates this reference instance and uh, sometimes they are free sometimes uh, what you pay kind of reverts back on the project so um, the first as I said uh, we're going to talk about uh, alternatives to uh, Google Analytics uh, so I'm running a blog and I'm gonna model this after my blog and uh, all the domains that you'll see or all, all the stuff that you'll see are gonna run under my domain and uh, that's what we will be seeing so I run this blog and this uh, could be my business uh, my business website right um, so I want to understand what my audience is and how I can do that so for that we are using um, a project called Matomo uh, all right. So Matomo is uh, what it used to be, Pwik, and this is what it looks like. Uh, you install it in your own server, and this is this is what you get. Uh, so you get a dashboard uh, with the visits in in real time. Uh, also, kind of the map of visitors, and you have all everything that you would expect, right? Uh, from understanding your audience a little bit better and uh, this is loading in my home server uh, so uh, it's a little bit slower than it is if you are running in a in a VPS or uh, or your dedicated metal so um, it it has almost everything that uh, you can imagine I'm not a big user of this so I'm sure that uh, there may be things that I'm overlooking, but uh, this is definitely enough for me to understand what are what is the um, the content that people is excited about and what is the, the thing that is more um, more interesting to the people that are subscribed to my blog. Uh, so I can see here that uh, there is an entry in web development or the, that the entries in web development tend to uh, be more uh, tend to be um, more uh, well received and, um, and yeah I can select the time range etc but one of the things that I like about this um, about this project is that if I go here oops not here have my resolution up so uh, the video shows well uh, if I go to administration you'll see that 
there is a privacy section here and that is that this is a privacy aware analytic system uh, which allows for both the users to opt out of tracking so uh, people that are visiting my blog um, may not be recorded because they ask so and uh, also there are features for me as a privacy aware uh, site operator I can anonymize people's data so even if someone was to come and uh, steal my data I uh, there would be nothing identifying to to see so from something like anonymizing the the IP addresses and um, replacing the user ID by a pseudonym and like there are several um, several privacy aware options that I, I really like uh, about this and, um, and yeah uh, there are many other features in in here uh, to help you kind of uh, put this in the or to customize the experience of uh, of what you see like for instance uh, I don't get much traffic so I might just by default uh, report the last seven days so I see actual data in it um, it is um, it is a very good alternative at least good enough for me that the um, the missing features for me do not make up for the missing freedom uh, that you get when you use something like uh, Google Analytics or uh, or other services like that. So that's it for today. Um, we'll see more about uh, these free software alternatives uh, some other day.